Hello friends, welcome to Shri Nitrale. In this case, we will show a step-by-step FACO emulsification procedure in a mid-dilated grade 2 cataract. The main incision is 2.6 mm and a side port incision is 23 gauge. You can see there is pseudo exfoliative material on the anterior capsule. Intracameral adrenaline is tried but was ineffective. This is followed by a stain with a trypan blue for 30 seconds, followed by a wash with saline, and AC is now filled with viscoelastic. Do not overfill the AC. Rexis is performed with cystitum. A 5.5 mm rexis will be sufficient in this case. And you can see the pseudo exfoliative material border is acting as a guide for rexis. Hydro is performed with 27 gauge cannula and nucleus is a bit rotated. Anterior chamber is again formed with viscoelastic and the steps of FACO starts. Here I am using a side cut chopper and you will see the advantage of side cut chopper in this case. Once the FACO is in, I am having my FACO pedal in position 2 and I am clearing the cortex. The first chop is done. I am rotating it 180 degrees and making two halves. Now dividing those two halves into further two. Now each nuclear piece is subdivided into further two pieces and emulsified. Note the FACO probe tip is remaining in the center where the depth is maximum and the chances for PC rupture and endothelial damage is minimum when you keep your FACO tip at the center. Do not go fishing in the periphery for the nuclear pieces. Use your left hand to manipulate the cortical pieces and the nuclear pieces in the anterior chamber. Note that the epinuclear plate can be taken out very easily with the help of FACO probe in FACO pedal position 2, though beginners can do this with the help of IA probe itself. Now the AC is filled with viscoelastic and I am using a coaxial IA cannula to remove the cortical material and this starts from subincisional cortex and a sweeping movement side to side makes it easy to remove all this cortex very nicely this is followed by this is followed by anterior capsule polishing with the help of swingers anterior capsule polisher this case was having pseudo exploration so it is important to perform this step to prevent any phimosis later date now this is followed by injection of a plate haptic trifocal IOL from Zeiss. Note the implantation of a plate haptic IOL. Once the leading haptic is gone in, the second haptic is directly dialed into the bag with the help of left hand. And now the AC and the bag is cleared of viscoelastic with maximum vacuum. Viscoelastic behind the IOL is also removed. This makes sure that the rate of PCO is very low in post-operative period. Hope you have enjoyed the case. Thank you and good day. Do subscribe to a YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Lande for more such exciting videos.